Well, we made it to the campsite last night. Um, pulled in here just as the sun was setting. Set up pretty quickly. It's a nice little spot just outside of town. Got phone signal here, so I was able to make a couple calls to back home and see how people are doing. But it's a nice little spot anyway on a freshwater creek. Been able to wash ourselves off a little bit in there. Not sure whether we're going to head in to town to do washing, like proper washing of our clothes and stuff, or whether we'll just do them in the creek. We're um, trying to make up our mind as to whether to stay here for another night or not. Hamish is, wants to send a book off to post it to someone, as well as send a letter off. Um, and this is sort of the last place we can do it for quite a while, for a couple of days. So we may end up spending another day here, not too sure. Um, yeah, the only reason why I didn't record us coming into here is that when we came in a phone signal, I was just non-stop, like, contacting people back about what's been going on. Yes, we're still alive, that kind of jazz. The rents were a little bit concerned because they hadn't heard from me for a couple of days, but um, that's all sorted anyway. Um, what else been happening? Not much, really. Just chilling once again. It's, um, we need to look up the weather this morning because, as you may be able to tell, the clouds are a little bit grey overhead and actually... If I walk over here to the little creek, you may be able to notice that there's water landing on it. It's been um, sprinkling pretty constantly like this for the last couple of hours, basically since I got up this morning. Um, so we were worried that it was going to keep continue to rain and get worse, and then that would put a halt on us heading further up north um, for a couple of days. But weather's only meant to be sprinkling like this until about 10 o'clock, midday sort of. So we don't have to worry about that. And then we've also been trying to contact and see whether we can get somebody else to join us to do the um, Telegraph track and Frenchman's, which are two four-wheel drive tracks up north that we have to go through. We're not worried about Coco getting through, but it, it would just be really good to have another car as a safety vehicle in case we get stuck in like a creek crossing or something, just to be able to pull it out so it's not stuck there in the water. However, we have gone and done Old Coach Road, which was meant to be like one of the hardest tracks up here, and she made it through. Piece of cake. It's um, yeah, the four-wheel driving's not the concern. It's getting stuck in a creek, which chances of that are slim, but there is still a chance, and we would hate for that to happen. So we may end up killing another couple of days around this sort of area. May go up to Weeper for a bit. Um, see some things heading up north until we can find somebody otherwise we're just gonna punch on through and just do it ourselves go solo once again and wing it but um yeah we'll see what today brings anyway well this is what we decided to do anyway we um Met some people in town after filling up on food and fuel. Met up with Jesse and his partner. My cow? Anyway, yeah, we um, met up with Jesse and his partner in town and followed them out to this nice little beach. It's the same river, just further upstream, so we've got a nice area to swim. We've even got a rope swing over there that we're going to check out shortly. Um, I've been working on the car too. Their um, winch and CV stopped working. And then we had a little test light and a multimeter, so we've been able to pull it apart while well, Jesse pulled it apart and took a look at it and got it working again. Figured out that it was just a loose bolt. Must have rattled loose from all those goddamn corrugations. Anyway, I think we're just going to be chilling out here for the most part, swimming every now and again. Um, probably going to camp here as well as we're still in phone signal and Hamish wants to duck back into town either this evening or tomorrow, probably tomorrow now that we have the car unpacked and we're to get the tools out to um, post off one of his books as well as post off a letter. Um, yeah. We were going to do something really silly and we did something really silly. 
We're going to try and tow each other um, on the surfboard, but Hamish decided to drive into the water and get ourselves get himself bogged. I think we're going to need to snatch out. <laughs> Had a bogger parenti 101. Well, you can really see the uh, flex on it, how much the tire sticks up underneath the mud guards. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look how deep in the sand he dug. <laughs> so we've rescued a cruiser, and now we need to get winched out by one. Ah, <laughs> uh, nice work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, ready? Number two. Oh, can he? Yes! Look at them skills. <laughs> Please, Grace, will dismount so far. <laughs> I've been around the world a couple of times and maybe